Hello and welcome back to some more tests with an i5 4670K and a GTX 760. We are in Dead Rising 3 and as you can see still runs like wank. <laughs> it runs terribly still. I mean what do you expect? I mean what did you expect? It still runs terribly. Everything is on max but still runs terribly. I mean the main reason is this. If I put this down to 720p I get 60 FPS. But if I put it to 1080p, it runs about 30 FPS, which is just brilliant. It's just brilliant. Ay, 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 caramba. Ay, yep. That is the game for you, and it's Dead Rising 3, so it still runs like bloody wank. <sighs> what do you expect? Put it at 720p, and that runs smooth as anything. Now it runs at 60 FPS. But, uh,. You want to run the game at 1080p? No. No. Not happening. Not happening. Unfortunately. It's a shame, really. It's a real shame. It's a real bloody shame. One thing they did fix, though, was the sound. If you remember on my videos, the sound was really quiet. They fixed that, so that's good. That is, that is, that's, that is good. That is good. It's good, yeah, it's good. So, um, if you want 60 FPS, you're probably going to have to, you're going to have to play in 720p, which is a pain in the ass, but, I don't know. Is it a deal breaker? Maybe. It's not good. How do I check my infantry? There you go. Using the keyboard and mouse. I haven't used the keyboard and mouse for this game before. Boat. Eight. Eight. Shotgun shells. Yeah, I never actually got around to playing this game because of the fact that the game ran like shit. Um, which is a shame. But, uh, yeah. I mean, is there a huge difference between 720p and 1080p? Let's have a look. Um, maybe. I don't know. I know there's a, there's a huge difference between 720p and 1080p in other games and in... But in this game, I'm not sure. I can't personally tell. Oh, well. Okay, it doesn't run too bad. I mean, it runs okay. I mean, the game runs about the same, I think. I mean, it's perfectly playable like this. Oh, look, now we're going up higher. Maybe it was just the area we're in. I'm pretty sure it's because of the zombies. E. Oh, the main reason I stopped playing it was because of the crashing. It wasn't the frame rate. The frame rate didn't bother me, honestly. It was the crashing. That bothered me. It's like with Assassin's Creed Unity. The frame rate doesn't bother me. It's the fact that the game is a buggy piece of shit. And, uh, yeah. So maybe I'll play this game now. Now that it doesn't seem to crash and they fixed, uh, fixed the sound issue. Will I record it? No. I mean, it's a bit late for that. I'll play it probably on my own. Uh, the game still goes to shit. The frame rate still goes to shit like this. But, uh, yeah. So I guess we're at ultra settings, sort of, are we? Yeah, we're at max settings. Well, no. Now we're at max settings. Now we're at max settings. And the issue with this game, like a lot of games this year, is that if you turn... Even if you turn all the settings down, you get the same, you get a very similar frame rate to if where if uh, max settings or not. Oh well. Did you see that? That wasn't just me. The game just went, the game like flashed black and then came back. That was weird.
But there you go. Dead Rising, Dead Rising 3, max settings, max settings, max settings. Yes, 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 yes. Even with that on, crazy. Look, that makes no difference. With this on, it makes, look at the difference. There is a free FPS difference between no anti aliasing and with max anti aliasing That is not good. That should not, that should not be happening, surely. So, yeah. Yeah, the game itself, from what I played of it, I had a lot of fun with it. It was quite fun. The game was fun. That's the thing. It was really fun. It was really quite fun. But like I said, the game crashed a lot all the time and I kept losing progress. So that's why I didn't play it. Uh, if that didn't happen, I would have played it. You're the poor man. Porn. Porn man. Hi. I still think Dead Rising 2, uh, Dead Rising 2 off the record and uh, Dead Rising 1 are still better than this by about 10 miles, because they are, but uh, yeah, it's a bit of a shame, they kind of, they definitely kind of put the the uh, series in a different direction, I don't know if it's just, it, it, I think it's really the setting, the setting, you're in like a boring kind of town, where the others you're in a really awesome location, and uh, I really love the other Dead Rising games. Are you coming? Oh. Got Lorem in here. Yeah. Yeah. But who's going to be having the the uh, with with the zombie? Huh? Zombies gone what? Really? Level 15. Amazing. What, what, what are you going to do? With them. What are they, they got nothing to do anything. You crazy fool. You crazy. They won't do anything. I'm just going to wander around. So even still, I mean, the game... I mean, if I was playing it, Personally, I would maybe put it down to 900p. I'd probably just put it down to 720p, honestly. I mean, even that, look at that, even then we're not getting 60. I mean, that's crazy when you think about it. It's just, it's still unoptimized. It's a very unoptimized game. I mean, they fixed all the, hopefully, they fixed all the crashing. They fixed a lot of the issues. They fixed a lot of the issues apart from the goddamn frame rate. So, uh, there you go, Dead Rising 3 on an i5. 670k with a GTX 760. 